Hi everyone, and welcome back to Bite Sized Haggy. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you to one of Haggy's most famous spots, the Haggy Castle Town. Back before Japan modernised, the country was split into several domains ruled by feudal lords called daimyo. Yamaguchi Prefecture was once known as the Choshu Domain, ruled by the Mori clan, and Hagi was the bustling political, administrative and commercial centre of it all. The Hagi Castle Town retains the same grid-like layout that it had during feudal times. It has a very authentic feel, with charming stone walls topped with beautiful kawara tiles lining each street. There's lots of places to explore in the castle town, from old samurai and merchant houses to temples with funky features. You're also bound to spot shops selling Haggy's traditional handicraft, Haggy pottery, along the way. In fact, many local cafes serve their drinks in it. Another thing to look out for in the Hagi Castle Town is the Natsumikan Orange. The Natsumikan Orange is a symbol of Hagi and can be spotted on the designs of manholes across town. It also plays an important role in Hagi's history, but that's a story for another video. Castle Town is already photogenic enough, but if you really want to look the part, then rent a kimono from one of Haggy's nearby kimono rental shops and step into the shoes of a feudal townsperson. This is the Kikuo Yokocho Alley, named after a wealthy merchant family whose residence is on the other side of this wall. They provided lots of services for the Mori clan and were instrumental in the domain. Their residence can still be seen today and you can take a tour around their dry landscape garden. Haggy Castle Town is home to many feudal residences like the Kikuya family residence. All these locations remain in fantastic condition, and among them are even places related to important figures from Japanese history. But I do have to admit that the Kikuya residence is a personal favourite of mine, given the backyard paradise they have. That being said, the Kubota family residence across the street also boasts some beautiful Japanese scenery. These feudal families really had it good. Well, as you can see, there's plenty to sink your teeth into in the Haggy Castle town. So I hope you'll consider visiting one day. Last time, I asked you guys what the other best place in Hagi was to watch the sunset. The answer was Mount Kaseyama. Now, here's your question for this week. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment and subscribe for more travel tips and info on Haggy. See ya!